must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Only one way to find out. Now this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. It's the same as the amulet. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and well, more historical. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. We're in the Temple of the Order of the Stone. The Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? <laughs>
It's absolutely incredible! How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. This looks like some sort of tracking system. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. There are only two lights on that map. If there are only two heroes left, then we know what we need to do. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two lights. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. But what if she didn't make it? Don't say that. Axel, Jesse's right. Petra might be... gone. If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. And obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I... <laughs> I think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Jesse, the point is, you should be going to Eligard's. It's the clear choice to make. You've got to come with me. You're my best friend, Jesse. It's you and me. Like always. Think about it, Jesse. This is more of a gut call. We need to make sure we get this right. We're not going to get a second shot at this. Whatever decision you make, I'll be cool with it. Really? As long as it's me. Come on, Jesse. This is an easy call. Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard's. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here? Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine. I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Olivia return to the Nether, intent on finding Eligard the Redstone Engineer, and find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, Redstone rarities, amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator, while the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake. Time is running out for our intrepid heroes. Thank you.
Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether? Connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? You know it! So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Again, hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <laughs> each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, 
There she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hi there. What? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya! But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Maybe that guy has something I could use. Can't help but notice you checking out my catapult, friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> Can 
congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. Hi! Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Elagard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Elagard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my, uh, bovine lava disco. Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do, but will I share it with you? No, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here. And you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Elagard's protege. Hey, ha, this rivalry's none of my business. Fine. Just don't listen to anything he says. No idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. A lever, I wonder what it does. Sorry. That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it. Wow. Wonder how high it'll go. This view is spectacular. Oh man, stone jackpot. Did Sandy just take off? Oh, I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. Oh, you didn't. 
yeah, crazy, right? She, she just took off. Guess she just really wanted to fly. Anyway. Stupid cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowapult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed! Be astounded! Let your wonders be compounded! Hey, that farmer over there sent me. The one with all the sugar cane? Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. Do you think you could stop? Oh, well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. Come on, isn't this beneath you? You've already perfected the cowapult, clearly. Shouldn't you start turning your attention to new pursuits? You actually make a lot of sense, friend. Maybe it is time to find my next masterpiece to be. Huh, thanks for helping me get my head right. Hmm, maybe a Tremu Shay next. Thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, thanks. Okay, I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Done. Pretty nice, if I may compliment myself. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Bam! Door open. Wow, he 
Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Stone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Yeah, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. Yes, that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? 
Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. <laughs> I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. You're trying to make a command block. Let me help you. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. So do you believe us now? Yes. This is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here, in my brain. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Far before? No! Never! 
Is it destabilizing? Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. Oh! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I can't believe you found us. This is amazing. You pulled me out of that Weatherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. Was just gone. It even caught Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse. 
My best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were gonna be here. That makes two of us then, but reversed for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Way to go, Axel. Well, it wasn't easy. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very... sweet. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people! Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? This arguing isn't helping anything. You want to stop that thing? You're going to need some serious firepower. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to book around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some, then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. Fine. What are you thinking, Ellie? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never seen... Do you know where it is? Can we get some? Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him, unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, small fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. Well, just keep it together, okay? I can't afford to have you cracking on me. Hey, I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. Hey, 
Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super tea. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is that? Oh, no. That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse and far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten the chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. Haha, <laughs> did I make you uncomfortable? Hilarious. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Axel's one of my best friends. He makes me laugh and he always sticks up for his friends. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea, or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the Witherstorm. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people.
I miss daytime? How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther, we can make it! isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. That was pretty reckless, Lucas. You could have gotten hurt. walks away. That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Guard the engineer. Gabriel the warrior. If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this.
Hey, Jesse? Yeah? It's Petra. She... I don't know. Doesn't seem right. I tried asking, but she... Well, maybe she'll talk to you? Petra, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Well, let's put up. about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. And Axel can get a little explodey sometimes. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. got me away from the wither storm but i'm worried that i didn't get away soon enough what it showed up not too long after you saved me holy crap what are we doing down here we need to get you help i don't know if there's anything we can do jesse do you know what wither is the wither of course we've been no jesse just wither, or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Huh? Ah! Creeper! <laughs> Grab my hand, I'll pull you up! <clears throat> ah! Oh! Jesse, I just couldn't... I'm sorry. Jesse? Are you okay? Hey, you're the one that's sick. Take care of yourself first. I'll be okay. <coughs> okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you.
must have something useful in here. He has to! Why would he have so many books? Hey, show yourself. Who's there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided! Ivor, just calm down, okay? I think we're here for the same reason. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Sorry, Ivor, I'm... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? Ha <laughs> ha! Foolish girl! I... Shut up! I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. You should let the Order decide. They'll know what to do. That kind of justice is too good for this monster. I'm the only one who can stop the Wither Storm! Not you, not the Order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. You're not going anywhere. This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, You'll have to catch me first! Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> uh, I'm like the wind! Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him leave. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away. One's on you, you puffed-up fool! There's no time for this. Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. Stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. A query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? <laughs> Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me. That they can destroy the Wither Storm. But they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain. As the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? 
Would they find a way to defeat the Witherstorm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. Thank you.